Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. A please like and subscribe helps the channel and I certainly appreciate it. Now we're going to get straight into this first video. Van getting uh, very very close to our car as we're going through some traffic lights. It, it was a lot closer than the camera actually shows. It never really does it just in things because it's a wide angle lens. But because he'd done that, he's caught my attention, and so I watch it very closely. And as you see, he's going over those hazard uh, check marks in the road, and then comes back again. And when people start wandering like that, I'm thinking they are otherwise distracted when they're on the road, not paying attention. And there he goes again, over and no real need. He's got plenty of room on this side of the road. So when they get my attention like that, I keep it very close eye on them because my um, responsibility is the safe being of my pupil at all times while they're learning to drive so I'm watching out for any inappropriate driving wherever that may come from as we're coming up to a roundabout now he starts to show his true colors because it goes into two lanes and by the way he's going in the same direction as us so why has he gone into that particular lane there nothing to say he can't at the end of the day that's where he really should be just like the mini behind they're going in the same direction as well he's doing it because he wants to undertake us or overtake us from the perspective that you want to see it from he's going the same way he gets very very close there again and finds he can't quite do it so he's going to look for another opportunity i'm quite sure as we move further on we come to two lanes and the moment we get to that he literally guns it straight past don't worry about the speed limit of course that doesn't actually come into the thinking of his plan so if you look from the front here he goes bombing past um gets back into the left lane to be in front of us the road there it goes left for left turn and that lane really if you want to go right it's just fluidity of traffic and it saves all problems or coming together or even conflicts and neither of those two did that fan being the worst of the two don't you know the road markings didn't say they couldn't do what they did but it increases risk unnaturally uh, for all drivers including people learning to drive okay on this clip here what we're looking at is this van on the left hand side the thames water van who should really know better obviously his job is to drive around quite a lot actually i know he, he could be quite busy but that doesn't mean he can take risks with other people on the road while he's going about his business now these two lanes here both go straight on with the right lane turning right and it, as it gets to the other side of these traffic lights we have basically what we call merge and turn and that is it goes into a singular lane and we're looking to see where we will fit in in the scheme of things as we go across now as far as i'm personally concerned looking at this situation we would filter in generally we're keeping a good distance from the white trove van but we'd filter in behind the red car here who's just in front of us and the white van is behind him now as the lights change and we move on we're keeping a good old wary eye on the van the red car's a little slow getting away we're looking for the merge in as we're about to do now only to be completely cut off by the thames water van pushing us towards the curb and then in doing so he gets very very close to the red car in front way too close all in an aid that he had to be in front of the learner car okay in this clip here is about pedestrians two girls to be precise that are looking to cross the road at the pedestrian crossing ahead and it's all pretty simple isn't it we all know how to do it when the lights are green the cars move or the vehicles move and when they go red you get a little green man and you cross the road can't be simpler they're the two girls in question are looking to the right fair play to them now as they're coming across to the middle our lights are changing they no longer can cross and their man still remains red but what do they do they pay absolutely no heed to the green light or the red man and literally cross right in front of just about to start flowing traffic i know pedestrians have priority but that's kind of taking the mickey to say the least and if they carry on with that they're going to find themselves having a problem at some time in their life with that type of attitude okay we're at a roundabout um and we had something similar at the beginning of this video that mercedes is going right around the roundabout fair enough but it's this vehicle here that we're actually looking at he's in the right hand lane again he's going down the same road as us this one managed to undertake us on this occasion 
and he he left at the same exit that we're going at see the car behind no problems there whatsoever why couldn't he do something similar a little bit of courtesy a little bit of respect getting in the right lane let's have a little look at the the front view and you'll get to see it as he exits down this road so we're approaching the roundabout we're in the left lane as normal looking to proceed into the roundabout in a safe manner and as it's nice and clear we start to move on you'll see that mercedes shoot in on the right hand side and it goes all the way around and no problems with that whatsoever doing what it should do and in the direction that it's actually going there is the car there now he's decides to indicate he's in the completely wrong place and then he leaves and again that is just again taking the mickey out of a learner car wanting to get in front happens all too often and too much again just a little bit of inappropriate driving okay simple one this clip how often have we all been in this situation before but it doesn't help learners of course we've got the van pulling out of a junction on the left hand side you can see him now he's pulling out on the road but he cannot go anywhere his road is blocked that doesn't bother him much he'll just stop in the middle of the road and my learner now has to negotiate very very gently around the back of him although there's some cars behind looking to pull up on the inside there so it was a little technical maneuver made to look rather simple and well done by the learner okay kingston one-way system here as we're traveling around it's just a couple of things i noticed really apart from all the police vehicles come flying past seeing something big was going on there we've got four of them as we move on take a left look at the center lane as we just gently go around the bend i'm just going to freeze it so you can have a little look how empty is that lane and the reason it's empty is because everybody's in the correct lane that wants to go in their particular direction queuing although one car pulls out of the queue and it's only purely because he goes in a different direction he changes his mind he doesn't actually push in you see him just in front of the bus but it's not the question it's not the car in question actually that i was concerned about it's someone that comes down the road sees a lovely empty road there and thinking hang on a minute i don't have to queue here at all do i i can actually just pass all of these vehicles and push their way in and it's that white van there so he's come down you know where he wants to go and it isn't in the lane he's in but the thing is what he does is his his arrogance in pushing in which he does in front of the jeep that's behind us no courtesy there at all i'm surprised it wasn't in front of us but there you go there's the indication on the side here now and he literally how close he is to our car is quite incredible and then that jeep then puts his hand up as if so what the hell are you doing but then backs off does the right thing and lets him in he weren't too pleased about it but it's it's so inappropriate and you wonder why people get road rage sometimes unfortunately more commonplace these times check out the lights up front they change amber going to red right there that van in the middle lane did you have time to stop what do you reckon easily absolutely easily but he's not interested and went through and uh, again this is very very commonplace uh, that man he made an amber just pinched on the red but how long before that changes to pushing through an amber and into a red without stopping okay what we've got here is a double bubble two clips here to do with zebra crossings and how to use them and well really not how to use them and what we're looking at is this red car on the right hand side the front car in front can't enter the roundabout yet so what does he gain by going right up the the back side of that car stopping on a zebra crossing so people can't access it here comes the pedestrian from the right hand side wants to access the road and cross and they have to very speedily go between the two cars by going behind the red one and the one in front that zebra crossing there should be clear so they can absolutely access it freely without the danger of being clipped by any cars waiting to access the roundabout this one here is the same sort of thing we've got a zebra crossing coming up pedestrian coming off the left way to cross about the van and the bike do you think the bike could have stopped they're waiting to cross maybe not but what about the van that's definitely far enough back 
Uh, I've just done that in slow motion so you can actually just see the sort of time lapse that they actually have. That pedestrian is waiting patiently. The van doesn't seem to have any time for that whatsoever. And I think had all the time in the world there to stop, but simply didn't want to. And they should be stopping. That pedestrian had the priority and the right of way to cross there. Happens all the time, unfortunately. That's what these zebra crossings are there for, so people can cross safely across the road. Seems to be getting more and more dangerous. Thank you very much for watching the video. I look forward to seeing you again on the next one. Take care and bye-bye for now.